Hi, I'm Donald with Steambright Supply, and today we're going to talk about the mighty 7303LX version 2 vacuum booster. Now, this unit is typically used as a hose mount vacuum booster, which means that typically you're going to have a regular traditional portable a piece of hose, and you're going to come in and hook into the rear end of the unit. This will be set aside while you're doing it. And then you're going to have this hose up here on the top is going to go to your wand. And what's in this unit, it has dual or two 6.6 .6 back motors. That means that the diameter is 6.6 .6 inches across. Um, you can see the tank size is about five gallons, though I haven't measured it or anything. It has uh, four locking casters on the front, which is kind of nice. That way if you're on a slope driveway or something outside, it's not going to roll out. You can also just click on these little buttons here and they'll unlock. You'll see on the back end, it has lighted cord connections. Now, the reason why it has two cords, it does require two circuit breakers to operate. Uh, at a full capacity, if you're in an environment you only want one run circuit breaker or one cord, you can because the back motors are in series. It does have an auto pump out system on it as well. Uh, I thought it was kind of interesting that the connection for the auto pump out, you, you would use your garden hose in reverse. In other words, the male end of the garden hose would connect in here, which is kind of the opposite of how we're normally used to using garden hoses. And then there's a valve out here to actually turn it off when you're not going to use it so you don't suck air backwards to the unit or drip water during transport. On the um, top end, there's also another connection here for you to, to use. You can either pick hooking the, your current machine to this part here or to this part here. If you're going to hook it to the top, then you're going to use the auto pump out feature because then as the water's falling into this unit, you can turn the switch on for the auto pump out and it will pump the water out as it's falling into this tank. But if you want this to remain dry and you want all your water to go to your existing machine, well then you're going to cap this one off and hook up your machine here and then your regular machine auto pump out system or manual drain would be used. Now, on the inside, I wanted to point out uh, there is a ball and cage filter system in here. This would need to be, remain clean in order for this to operate. Uh, also, there is two different filters in here. There's a sock, a lint sock for your auto pump out that you would need to lift out. And I can see that this is a steel ring, and that's just to give it some weight as it's sitting on the bottom of the machine. So this is obviously going to rust and uh, probably have to be replaced. Um, there's also another screen down here which you'd probably have to unthread if you wanted to rinse it out, but it's got a pretty large mesh system, so it's probably not really going to get clogged. It's pretty uh, large holes, but the, you do need to make sure you rinse this stuff out all the time. Now I can see that because of where the uh, pickup point is on the top of this tank, uh, it really shouldn't get more than 50% full. So if you're going to use it with, uh, as a standalone extractor, which is another possibility or way to use it, please empty it regularly. I noticed on the cap, <coughs> there's a warning here about making sure your fresh water, I'm sorry, your fresh water tank is, um, this is before refilling the solution tank, please make sure your recovery tank is empty. Well, that really doesn't apply to this machine. There is no fresh water tank, so I can picture me getting calls on that, so people saying, where's the fresh water tank? Well, it doesn't have one. That's just a generic sticker referring to their other machines. So I'm going to open this up for you so you can see under the hood. And you can see it has two 6.6 .6 back motors. Now, and they're in series, which means that the exhaust of the first motor is blowing in the intake of the second motor. Now, these are actually different part numbers because this first part number is kind of conical or a little bit more flush on the bottom. The part number used for this other one actually has a, a horn or intake horn or, or cone assembly to hose clamp the hose onto. So they're not interchangeable. They do need to be separate. And then in here, you can see the AquaTech 
pump out pump is rated for 3.3 gallons a minute in the bottom. Now, <clears throat> Mighty had um, said that they kind of tune these a little bit differently with Amatec, and so we wanted to find out if that was true because the traditional Amatec LAM 6.6 .6 back motor, typically if you put your hand over it and you fully occlude it, which makes them actually run a little bit easier, after all, it'll be about eight and a half amps, and when I let it off, it will go to about 14 amps. So we figured we would test that here, and I'm going to do that for you all. When I included I'm at 9, so it is about a full amp stronger than a traditional 6.6 .6 vac motor. Now, being that they're in series, the other thing we'll notice that this unit actually will pull a full 15 inches of mercury lift. So it's a pretty aggressive suction. It's equivalent to the same amount of inches of lift that you would get in any truck mount. Now, if you are going to use it with a truck mount, you want to make sure that you turn the vac motors on first before you turn your truck mount on because you don't want the impellers on the vac motors to be running in back and reverse. The other thing that's kind of unique about this style of vac motor is a tr traditional vac motor, typically the life expectancy is about five to 800 hours of use before you have to change the carbon brushes. And on this model, they actually are designed to run about 1,500 hours. So the life expectancy of the vac motors also is a lot longer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on, and then we'll get a, a shot of the uh, vacuum gauge to show you how well it works. <laughs> So anyway, that's kind of a brief overview of the Mighty LX7303 version 2. Now the version 1 only has one vac motor in it and has one power cord, costs a little bit less. So currently they're both available, but the version 1 I think is going to be on the discontinued list. So if you want the version 1 for a little bit less money, you need to probably scarf it up pretty soon. All right, thanks for watching.